Hello and welcome to 2021. This is Virginia Milner coming to you for the DeKalb County Library System. Ah, a whole new year and all kinds of new prospects and projects to, to move forward with. And it looks like it's going to be good because we should be able to get out and start wearing some of these wonderful things that we've been making. I can't wait. Anyway, I thought I'd start off the year with a mixed media pro uh, project that's really, really easy, very, very simple, and it's gonna incorporate several different types of jewelry making um, material. We're gonna use glazed cotton cord, leather cord, and wire. Very easy, very simple, and we're gonna make this really neat fringe necklace. That's today's project. Very, very easy to do. We're going to make some um, spirals. We're going to add some beads to our spirals. I'm going to show you how to make a, a plain spiral. And I'm going to show you how to make a beaded spiral and make these um, cute little fringe tassels. And then we're going to put it on leather cord with an adjustable knot. So we've got lots to do, very, very easy, gonna be a lot of fun, let's get started. The first thing that you need to know is that we need our usual normal um, pliers. We need our round nose pliers, uh, flat nose pliers, or uh, um, square nose pliers, flat nose is probably better. And um, our cutters, just our general tools, nothing special, nothing extra, and a ruler, that's it. Okay, so let's get down here where you can see what I'm doing. So what we're going to do is get cotton cord. And what I've done, it depends on how long you want your tassels to be. Uh, but what I've done is cut uh, and uh, cut seven lengths, each one of them 10 inches long. So it just depends. Oh, gosh, I should have used a different background for this. But anyway, it just depends on how long you want your tassels to be. You just want all of your lengths of cord to be the same length. And it also depends on how thick you want your tassels to be um, to determine how many you want to cut. So this is very um, up to you. But I today am using seven strands of 1.5 millimeter cotton cord, polished cotton that you can just get from any craft store. Seven strands, 10 inches a strand. And 20 gauge wire. Just plain, ordinary 20 gauge wire. I'm using copper. And the first one that I'm going to show you how to do is just a plain, unadorned spiral. We're not going to put, we're going to put a bead on the second one, but for this one, we're going to just make a spiral. So the first thing that you want to do is fold your cords over so that the ends meet. Same length on the bottom. Get them as straight as you can get. Get all my ends together here. And if you've cut it and they're not all exactly the same length. Number one, this is supposed to be very um, organic. So they don't all have to hang the same length. You can make them graduated lengths. It's entirely up to you, but you wanna make it, uh, you want it to look um, fresh and organic and not machine made. So you don't have to worry about it being exactly the same on the ends. But if you want it exactly the same on the ends, once you've got this done, you can always cut it down so that each of your ends is the same. But what I do is just get them as close as I can, tap it down until my ends are meeting. And then I'm going to fold it over in the middle. 
so that the ends are meeting on both sides. And I have a nice loop here. And now I'm going to wrap my wire around. Now I have cut, you can, I'm use, you can use anywhere from four to six inches of wire. I have six inches here just because I want to make, it, it depends on how big you want your spiral to make, to, to be. I made on this one, all different sizes of spirals just to have something interesting and different. So I've got six inches here. I'm going to leave myself a good two inches to accommodate my spiral. So I want two inches on one end and then the rest on the other end. And I'm going to place it on, on my cotton leaving a nice opening here. I'm gonna bring it down about half an inch because I need enough space in here to be able to slide my uh, leather cord through. Doesn't have to be much. But I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a good half an inch of space to wrap in. Okay, so I've got my opening. You can take your pliers and slide them in there just to make sure everything's nice and even. So now I've got those nicely placed over my pliers. Let's smooth it out. Have my opening here. Have my half an inch, give myself two inches that I want to use for my, my spiral here. And then I can start my wrap. So I'm going to place my um, wire underneath my cord and I'm going to start wrapping. So what I'm going to do, getting it started is the trickiest part. So I'm going to squeeze these together so I can get a good wrap in there. Got a nice loop. And before I go any further, I'm going to go back in with my pliers and make sure all of my rings are still even. So there we go. And you can leave that in there and just kind of pull on this to get it a little tighter. So now I have a nice loop around around my cord. I want that nice and snug, snuggly buggly. Like I said, getting it started is the trickiest part. And that's not very tricky. Just want to get a nice snug fit. There we go, nice and snug. And I just go back in a couple of times just to test and make sure all of my strands are lining up nicely. There we go. Now I can start my wrap. Nice and tight. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start wrapping it around and kind of wrap it tightly. Okay. 
And every couple of reps, I will go back with my pliers and squeeze the rings together so that they're nice and close. And I'm just gonna do four wraps here. So we've got one, two, three, four little rings. Nice and neat. And what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna unfurl this one because I see a possibility to make a couple of spirals instead of just one. I'm gonna wrap this one around on the bottom. So now I have two nice little tails of wire that I can work with. Now, you, if you don't want spirals, you can just cut these off and you have what you need for your tassel. But I wanna make a spiral. Check these out again, make sure they're nice and neat. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, because I have two nice tails of wire here, I think I'm gonna do a double spiral instead of just a, a single spiral like I have on this one. I'm gonna do a double. Got a short tail on top. So what I'm gonna do is take my round nose pliers uncoated one. I just want to make a small loop. So I'm going to grab my wire with the tip of my pliers. And I'm going to make a teeny tiny loop. See that? Yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to take the flat pliers and I'm going to make a spiral. So I'm going to grab the side of my loop. I'm just going to start wrapping the wire around itself. Hold that up so you can see a little bit better. And I'm just gonna keep spiraling until I get to the top of my wire. Neat, huh? So now I have a nice spiral on the top and I think I'm gonna do a spiral on the bottom. Why not? I've got all this wire left. Why well, cut it off when I can do something fun with it? So let's make another spiral. Again, I'm gonna take my pliers. This, this spiral went up. I'm gonna make this spiral going down. So I'm gonna grab the tip of my wire with the tip of my pliers. Again, I wanna make sure that there's nothing sticking out the back here as little as possible. So I can make a tiny, nice little, little Nice, neat little loop. Okay. 
okay, with my nice little loop. Then I'm going to take my flat pliers and I'm going to start wrapping the wire around it itself. I know my pliers is blocking the progress so you can't really see it as well as I would like. That's why I'm going so slow. So you just get a little bit of a wrap and you just keep wrapping until the spiral gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And I had a good two inches of wire. So I have a good, nice, decent sized spiral on here. And there we have it. Kind of neat. Can you see that? A better love, oh, Larry. Trying to get the glare out. That's better. Okay. Anyway, there we go. Here's our double spiral. I like it. Back in. Make sure all my cards, my uh, cords are nice and straight. You should still be able to have, you should still have a little wiggle room here that you can adjust these a little bit if you need to. But there's my tassel. Nice, neat and tidy. Okay, now I think I'll show you how to do one with a, I wonder if I can less glare if I use this. Is that too dark? See, now you can't see my hands. Ah. Ah, this is perfect back up here. Okay, so the next one I want to show you how to do is a a beaded spiral bead here and I'm just going to use a little here we go a little trade bead because I want this to have a little African feel here so I've got my little seven strands of wire I put all the ends together like I did the first time Four, five, six, seven. Again, ten. I made mine ten inches each. Depends on how long you want it. Okay. Fold it over. I see a little extra length on a couple of these. Slide my pliers in there. Check it out. Very nice. Just 
little bit. I'm going to put a little bit. Okay, there we go. Let's check this one against that. Yeah, about half an inch. Just what I said in the beginning. Okay, nice and neat. Need to start my wrap. Now, another way that you can do this. is to use your pliers to get your wrap started. Now I'm going to need a good well, two and a half inches because I have a bead that I need to accommodate for. And this is about five inches long, so it's going to be right in the middle. And I'm going to just start my wrap by bending this over the pliers. And just slide it over my cord. Makes it a little easier. You don't have to do all of the bending afterwards. And you can find a way that is easier for you to do it. Um, but this way you have it already started and you can just slide it over your cord. Let me check all my loops again. There we go. And just squeeze that down. And start my wrap. And again, this is the part that's, this is the trickiest of everything that you have to do. And that's not that tricky. Wire is very soft, very malleable, and it'll do what you want it to do. Once I have that one wrap in there, holding everything in place, I am good to go. Pull that up a little bit. There we go. Now let's start my wrapping. I've got one. Full we'll wrap here already. There's a second one. Use my pliers to squeeze the rings together. Make sure they're nice and close. Let's give it another wrap. And one more wrap. And there we go. All nice, neat and secure. Nice and tight. And neat. There we go. Again, make sure all my rings are where they should be.
Sorry to get all silent on you. I have, a, I have a ring here that I'm trying to find the end to so I can get it nice and neat. It's eluding me. I keep thinking that's it, but it isn't. There, found it. Get back up here. So it's trying to get away. Here we go. There. All right. So now this one is finished. So I can go ahead and cut it off. Let me check, double check the back here. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So I'm going to just clip this off the back. Make sure you don't cut your cord. And then squeeze that end down so it doesn't catch on anything. And now we're going to make our our beaded loop, our beaded spiral. All right, so this spiral is going to rest on top of my wrap. So what I'm gonna do is start by making a little loop. And because it's going to wrap, it's going to rest on top of my loop, I want my wrap to go in the direction of the top of my um, of the top of my loop of my cord. So I'm going to make a loop going up towards the top, just part way, because I want to give myself a little well for this to go into. So there's my little uh, starting point. I have a little bit of a loop there. I put my bead on and now I can start my wrap. So I'm gonna grab the tip of this. I have a little place for, for my bead to rest. And I'm gonna start my spiral. There we go. It's getting a little more looped because my loop needs to wrap around my bead. And there we go. Continue wrapping. And again, we're still wrapping our wire around itself and around the bead at the same time. You want to be really careful. You don't, I'm using a glass bead here and I don't want to break it. So I want to try and grasp my wire on the outside of the wire, not on top of the bead. Just wrapping and wrapping until I get to the wrapped portion of my Cool. 
There we go. Nice wrap with a little bead in it, just to have something a little bit different. Go back in here, check my little, my little loops that my cord's gonna go over. Nice and neat. There's my little opening that's going to accommodate my leather cord. And there we go. Two nice little tassels with a little embellishment on top. And again, you don't have to do the embellishment. You can just wrap them. And then you'll have, you can just wrap the um, tassels up so that you can hang it over your cord and make it nice and easy. But I thought it would be nice if we did something to embellish our wraps a little bit. So there's that. And now let me get the others. All right. So here are all of my tassels that I'm going to string over my cord. And now what I'm using is um, one, is this one or two? I'm just using leather cord and it really doesn't matter. You can use one, I think this is one millimeter cord, two millimeter cord. It just depends on how heavy you want it to be. This does not have much weight at all. So it doesn't have to be thick and heavy unless you just want it to be thick and heavy. But what uh, the most important thing is how much cord to use. I want to be able to put this over my head because I'm making a closed adjustable knot. So I have to be able to get it. Uh, it has to be long enough to go over my head. And for me, that's to about 24 inches. Oh, excuse me, my goodness. And because I'm making a knot um, on each side, I need enough to accommodate my knots. And so I'm giving myself an additional 10 inches of wire or uh, four inches each for, for my knots because I'm gonna be wrapping it several times. And the way that you can determine how much wire you need for your knots is to cut a length of wire, um, make your knot, and then measure your wire to see how much is left. Um, I'm giving myself 10 additional inches um, from my, that my 24 uh, inches. So I'm giving myself 34 inches and I gave myself an extra two just to be safe. So I'm using a, a full yard of wire to accommodate my necklace so that I can make sure I can get it over my head. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is string on my tassels. And what I've done is arrange them because I have, um, I have two of them that have beads in them. I have the one with the double spiral and the rest of them just have six single individual spirals. So that's how I arranged it. You don't have to do it this way. This is just the way I did it. So I'm gonna put my slide my cord through each of my tassels at the top. Get in there. So I'm going to make sure each one of them goes through my cord.
Again, radio silence. Oh my goodness, this has got to be boring for you. I should have done this off camera so you wouldn't have to watch me feeding this through with no commentary. But you get what you get. Okay. Last three. Get in there. This is cute. One more. Yay! Okay. Looks like a hula girl. Anyway, so now we've got these all strung on our cord. Isn't that cute? And now let's make our sliding knot. Let's get that centered. We'll push a little bit more. There we go. I keep sliding it back and forth a little more to the left, a little more to the right. Okay, so now let's make our sliding knot. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is measure out, I'm gonna give myself a good four inches. Let's measure out four inches on my ruler. And I'm gonna bend it at that four inch mark. So I have a tail and then I have the rest of my um, cord. And then I'm gonna take the other end and I'm going to put it underneath the folded piece So here's my folded piece. And I have the tail facing me. And the connected piece is on the other side. And then I have the other unfolded piece underneath. So I'm going to take the tail to the folded piece. And I'm going to wrap it around the other two pieces of wire. So here's my folded piece of wire. I'm going to wrap it around the other two pieces about a half an inch down from the top. Half an inch is getting a lot of work here. I'm going to wrap it around one time. And I'm going to wrap it around a second time. And notice how I'm holding on to this so that it doesn't shift. And then I'm going to take it around one more time and through the loop. And then I'm going to pull my little tail and just adjust my loops until I have it nice and tight. It's nice stiff leather. And you just adjust it until you have it as tight as you can get it. So 
I don't want my nuts to come all this. Nice and tight, 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 tight. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the other side. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to measure off four inches. I'm going to fold that piece of cord in half or at the four inch mark. I have my tail is facing me. I'm going to place it over top of the other piece of uh, cord that's already connected and knotted. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before. About half an inch down. Wrap it around the back. Oops. Hold on to the wrapped part so that it doesn't slide. And it depends on how many loops you want. You can do two, you can do four, you can do five. It depends on what look you're going for. I'm just doing two. And then a third one through the loop. This is such stiff leather, which is fine, but my goodness, to be Arnold Schwarzenegger to get it tight enough. Tight, 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 tight. Come on. Tighten up. Nice tight knot. All right, do we have it here? A lot of push-pull motion. Um, I heard somebody say something about putting glue on it. That, that's not a good idea for a sliding knot. If you put glue on it, it's not gonna slide. So. You just have to make sure it's nice and tight. And then once you've done that, you have your sliding, your sliding knot. And you can go in with your little clippers and just clip off the tail down to where you want it. And there you have it. My sliding knot necklace. Here we go. I can make it longer, I can make it shorter. All I have to do is pull my knots. And there it is. Ah, I like it. Here it is, yay! My first piece for 2021. Oh, I love it. It's so lightweight, oh my gosh. It's just so cute. I should take it off, put it on, on the display so you can really get a good view of it. Oh, there it is. All right, so let's take a look at this little guy.
can get it on here straight. There it is. It's kind of hard to show the whole thing because it's so long. Make it shorter. So I can get it all in the picture and you can see what we're making. Here we go. There. Does that work? My gosh. Pitch these over a little bit. Down, down, down. There we go. I think that's better. There we go. There. Now I think you can see it. Zoom in a little bit. There's our little tassels and our embellishments on our tassels. Can you see that? Nice little spiral. Wraps. Do, 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 do. It really does look like a hula girl. Anyway, it's really, <laughs> it's really a lot of fun to make. Very, very easy, very, very simple. And I've got my adjustable knots, which is nice because then I can put it on and adjust it to whatever size I want. Ah. <sighs> cool beans. I like it. It's all mine. And you can have one too. You too can make one of these. And as you can see, it's very, very simple. It's really easy. You make your tassels. You make these things going up as high as you want them to be. You can make as many or as few as you want. It's entirely up to you. But I wanted to show you how to make the little spirals. I mean, I've seen some that just have, have them wrapped, which is fine. But you know me and spirals. I like spirals. So I wanted to embellish it a little bit. And I wanted to show you how to, to put the bead in the spiral and make a regular spiral. We even did a double spiral. Ah, fun. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope that you have your, you made some nice New Year's resolutions. I know because I never keep them. So I hope that 2021 is the start of a great year for you and that we will be able to publicly wear these, some of the things that we make um, this year, starting later in the year and um, without a mask um, as part of our accessories. <laughs> so anyway, happy 2021. Please stay safe. Please stay with us. Let us know how you like these videos and what you'd like to see next. There is more to come, uh, lots, and not, lots and lots and more to, to come and more to do and more fun to be had. So I hope that you will come and have fun with us because we are looking forward to staying in communication with you and I hope that you'll do the same for us, okay? Have a good week, have a good weekend and See you next time. Bye-bye.